Hello everybody, welcome back to another musical e-gaming video. Today, we are back in Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, continuing our journey. Last time we broke out of prison and attempted to uh, save the Emperor, only leading to his demise. Uh, now, we were given, uh, I believe, a... Uh, Amulet that we have to deliver. It's been a while since I actually jumped in this and last recorded. Uh, we decided to stop over here at the Imperial City in the Inn. So let's go ahead and get back into it. Um, is this. Imperial City Market District. Alrighty. Today's episode is not going to be as long. I am just going to be doing some basic stuff. It's not going to be anything too exciting. Or at least, I don't think there's going to be anything too exciting. We have the Black Horse Courier Service. Please be generous, kind sir. Ugh. I think we're in for some hard times. The death of Uriel Septim and his heirs changes everything. Blessings of Stendar upon ye. Uh. Where? We're all talking about. We have no emperor. Good day. A pity on no war veteran. Okay, I was told get speed to bring up the uh, stuff. We gotta deliver the ambulance. I should take the Amulet of Kings to uh, his Joffrey at uh, Moyne and Priory near the city of Toral. Oh. It's a prison, there's a sewer. That's not it. Yeah, the city of Toro. Braville. Skingrad. Ah. So I'm going to uh, go into the uh, You have to go into the Elven Gardens district and head out by the uh, Talos Plaza. Well met. Well, what's this? Greetings, Imperial Brother. Green Emperor Way. How can I help? Something to report? Uh, directions. What are you looking for? The Imperial Palace is at the center. The six districts are arranged around the palace like spokes of a wheel. Starting in the northeast, moving clockwise, you have the market, arena, arboretum, Temple, Talos Plaza, and Elven Gardens districts. The waterfront is south of Temple District. The Arcane University is south of the Arboretum. The Imperial Prison is north of Market District. Take care. 
Okay. Let's go. Take care. I hope I'm going the right way. Hmm. Time for another journey. Um. Oh, that's the prison. That is the Imperial prison right there. Yep. I'm just going to jump the wall and uh, make my way down the hill. Again, not that. Come on, Wolf. Thank you. Head west. Some deer over there. Wolf. Thank you. And I believe I see our destination down there. Controls real quick. Is there not a run button? I think I see where I need to go over here. That's the road that leads from the Imperial City. I can't run right now. There is no key to run. What? Ooh, what's this? What is this? Runestone. Oh. Oh. The hell? Uh. uh. What just happened to my weapon and armor? Uh, okay. C across the water. Oh, goody. Good, good, good. There's a bridge. There's a city I need to go to over here, I believe. 
run for your life. Yeah, here. A mud crab. Oh. Learn root. They use the same sound from uh, Elder Scrolls V. Well, they use the same sound over again between 4 and 5. Nice. Crap meat. There's other barrels over here. It's getting dark. up here for empire okay uh, the, the imperial city from a distance got the uh, prison to the north you got the palace at the center and everything surrounding it in a hub and spoke system Shouldn't be that far now. I'd like skill increased. I better get a lantern out. Stuff of torch. Here we go. Into the wild. Oh. This. Monk shed root pulp. Barely see anything. Some tart, some sort of mushroom. Just keep moving. Just a little bit more west here. Go around a little bit. A bit of a cliff side here. Don't know where I'm going. Just wandering the wilds. Nothing different. in the Priory pretty soon. Doesn't look like it does that far. Come on. Get up the hill. Okay. 
it's just up this hill. I can't climb. are getting a little bit loud today. Quest updated. Deliver the amulet. I have arrived at Lennon Priory. Now I must take the amulet of kings to Joffrey. Oh. I'm the shepherd here. Erinor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. Bye. Wow. Waynon House. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. Hey, you. That's not him. Come on. Joffrey. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Hmm. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. 
If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, head out and Waste find this no guy. Time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Okay, go find Martin. Um, my torch. South of here. Place to elsewhere. Gravel. Ah, Kvach over here over by Anvil. Onward south. South into the wilds. There's a building here. What's this? <laughs> Get out of here, Wolf. Hmm. Take that. Thank you. Southwest of here. What are we at? What are we at? Where are we? Trying to wait, uh, wait a couple hours here. Okay. Let me give you some advice, stranger. Leave. No. I got nothing to say. Just go away. Well, I need it would be nice to have a horse. Um,
in, we got Nice house. Where? Chapel of the Brethren. Muslims dry goods. And equip the torch because I don't need it at this time of day. Let's move. Continue southwest. There's not really much going on. It's mostly just walking simulator over here. Since I have no means of transportation. But I do like the game. Even though I'm very, very early in it. It is still a pretty good game. At least early on, it's not as upbeat as uh, Skyrim, but... It's not about uh, how upbeat the game is, it's just level of detail for the time it had. Hmm. I'm missing the run feature, though. I miss being able to just run across um, the map. Instead of having to wander. Get out of here. Who do you think this is? Just continuing southwest, and I think we're going to end it off once we uh, get closer to the city down there. Um, okay, I'm not that far. Just taking it off road. Uh, there's going to be uh, some changes to the channel, of course. As you guys already have seen, there is a new intro that's out for the channel. Uh, Michael C., the director of the stream team, uh, actually had an intro made for me. As well, he is now going to be doing the editing for my videos. Uh, it may range from simple uh, edits like adding the intro to even uh, for SAL patrols, the possibility of uh, just cutting out all the non action bits and making it, it more. Um, like an episode of the TV show Cops, where it's uh, multiple uh, scenarios connected into one video, just cutting out all the mundane stuff. I don't know. But we have made it. We made it to our destination. Once we get in here and uh, speak to this guy, Martin. Uh oh. 
Jump down. Wolf. Get out of here. Or at least I thought we made it. Nope. Not yet. We're close though. Once we get over here, we're going to uh, speak to Martin. And then we'll be on our way. There, we're following me. Or is somebody threatening me? I hear the dramatic music, but I don't see anything. So. I heard a little bit of the Skyrim theme in there. Oh, I don't look at that place. on the hill. Is that where we're going or is this it? Wolf, get out of here. Minja mutt. Anyway. Continuing on our journey. We must climb this hill. And find the entrance to the city on the other side. I already. And the other wolves that want some. Can't go up anymore, so we gotta go around and find a way. Life finds a way. Did I just find it? It's not legit, but I found a way. It's not legit, but yeah, I did find a way over here. Looks like it's all abandoned. Burn out. an old fort or something
Let's find a gate to oblivion. Um, shit, I think they found him. Alright, now it's time for action. In the building, come on. What's it like out there? We were beginning to fear we were the only survivors. Brother Martin? Yes, he's right over there. He led a group of us here during the confusion of the attack. We owe him our lives. Brother Martin? Take care. It's the smell, really. How did you get in here? What are you doing here? Martin? He's back there, looking after the other survivors. Take care. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to... Brother Martin. Good day. Okay, I need my torch because I cannot see anything. Better. That's much better. Have you brought help? We've been trapped here since the Daedra overran the city. Of course I'm in danger, but I'm needed here. I can't leave. I assume you didn't risk your own life to come here to tell me something I already know. Who are you and what do you want? Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. What plan? What are you talking about? <laughs> I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? <laughs> and he told you to find me? Uh, why would I lie, honestly? <laughs> I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? No. I'm sorry, but even if what you say is true, I won't abandon these people to their fate. I'll go with you when we can all leave here together. I found the air, but... And that, guys, is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.